lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome back for a primark haul finally we are doing a primark haul i haven't done one in what feels like forever do you know what there just hasn't been much in my local primark recently so i've been in and out a lot but just haven't seen much or enough to do a haul at least but i went into a different one the other day and actually found quite a few pieces i'm looking over here because i've got it all hung up behind me so yeah hopefully i can show you some new bits that you haven't seen yet i have got a bikini lots of clothes and some homeware pieces they're homeware I'm loving at the minute my um local store has actually made their homeware section bigger which i'm so happy about because the section before was really tiny but they actually had a lot more of like their side tables and stuff in there so i might do a come to primark video with me soon if you guys would like to see that let me know down below if you aren't already subscribed i'd love it so much if you'd stick around on this channel there is so many videos coming i keep saying this some of them are kind of like i'm holding them back because they're moving vlogs and i don't want to upload anything until we've actually completed i don't want to jinx anything so they will be coming and yeah just lots of new content in general so please subscribe if you aren't already i will leave my instagram up here as well for you guys so you can follow me over on there i think that is everything this is going to be a try on haul so i will just do the try on clips over me talking just makes it a little bit quicker but yeah grab a cup of tea or a glass of wine or some snacks and let's just jump straight on into it Okay, first things I think I will start off with the homeware pieces that I picked up. We'll do the thing that I'm most excited to use first and that is a new mug. I don't know about you guys but I have a mug obsession. Um, I love a mug that's bigger. Can you see it's quite a quite a hefty mug if i'm having a cup of tea then this is my favorite shaped mug is that weird do you guys have a favorite shaped mug or is it just me i feel like that's quite a common thing but yeah i saw this one in there it's obviously winnie the pooh and it says never stop dreaming it was six pounds which i thought was a little bit steep but i really liked it so i thought i would pick it up this is it up close if it's gonna focus just thought it was really cute so grabbed that they did have lots of different disney character mugs in there if you are looking for some new ones and then i picked up these baskets i don't know if you guys can see behind me i'm kind of hoping you can't because it is a mess behind there hence the frame by the way that is not just for decorative reasons that is because there is just rubbish behind it so i keep that there but i have got the bigger versions of these boxes so i thought i'd pick up a couple more i got these two i probably will grab some more but i just thought i'd grab two for now these were two pound each they do also do them in more of like a cream wicker look color look color you know what i mean so yeah pick these up they're just really great for like jewelry or little bits and pieces like my makeup remover and stuff i tend to keep in these so picked two up of those and then they also had well they had loads of different baskets in there to be honest but i picked up these ones i don't know what it is at the minute i've got a real obsession with wood and wicker like decorative furnishings so i picked these up both of these came as a pair and these were £10, which I didn't think was too bad because I saw a set really similar to this in Dunelm and I think they were like £25. So I thought this was quite good, to be honest. They're a really good size and I just thought, again, these would be really handy to store bits and pieces in and they look cute on top of like chest of drawers or something. So grabbed those. They feel like really good quality as well. And then probably don't want to see this, but I picked up just one fong not really sure why i picked up one because they're literally a pound but i just thought this was really cute it's got a really nice like pastel floral pattern on it don't even know if you can pick that up i actually don't know why i just picked one of those out but here we go okay first up clothing wise let's start with the one and only bikini that i picked up sean actually bought this for me a couple of weeks ago i believe um, but as i said i didn't find much else in there so i thought i would save it i went in there the other day though and they do still have these so if you like this bikini then it was still in my primark it's basically like a knit crochet bikini is it gonna focus there you go i thought this was so cute the only thing is i had to get the top in a size 16 and the bottoms in a size 14 because there weren't many sizes left but i still thought it'd be really cute and to be honest the top doesn't look big at all it is just a tie top and back so it should fit me absolutely fine i just thought this was so cute maybe with like a little white shirt cover up or something for a beach day i don't know can you wear these sorts of bikinis in the water is that a stupid question I'm not sure please let me know down below because they are like a knit fabric would that not just go really weird they are lined though so maybe I'm not sure but the whole bikini was 10 pounds the bottom were four pounds and the top was six pounds so thought that was really cute okay next up this is actually the first thing that I saw when I went into my Primark you know they always have the brand new stuff at the beginning on the mannequins this was on the mannequin fell in love with it. I just thought it looked so cute and to be honest it doesn't look like Primark it looks 
really expensive and nice quality so it is a two-piece tracksuit the jumper is just like this it says harvard on the front in this really lovely burgundy color this is like a teddy material as well i'll just bring it closer so you guys can see that hopefully it's going to pick it up but yeah the quality of this just looks really lovely i did pick this up in the biggest size that you could get it in so i got it in an extra large which is a size 18 to 20 and this was 14 pounds i'm pretty sure it's meant to be more of a crop jumper but i like things like this to be really oversized and then if i do want to crop it i'll just like tuck it up under my sports bra or whatever so yeah that is the jumper and then the bottoms are exactly the same they just have the little h on them there the only thing with these bottoms they don't have a drawstring waist which i was a little bit annoyed about but i still think they'll be fine i did actually size up in these and got them in a size medium just because i wanted them to be a little bit looser i think where i'm curvy on the bottom if you're new here i'm typically like between a size 10 and a 12 but my bum and my hips is definitely the widest part of me so i find primark's bottoms can be quite tight so i picked them up in a size 12 to 14 hopefully they fit me nicely this is just the type of outfit i love to throw on when it's like a gray gloomy day and i want to be comfy or i've got errands to run or i'm going to grab a coffee anything like that these are just easy to chuck on oh, i just realized i didn't say how much these were so these were 12 pounds the whole tracksuit was 26 pounds but I know for Primark it's a little bit more expensive, but it is a really good quality. It is that really nice like, fluffy material on the inside, which I love. Just so comfy and cosy. So yeah, if you do see this, definitely check it out. It's beautiful. Oh, I just realised there's actually embroidery on the arms as well. It says 1636. So yeah, the quality is definitely there with this one. Highly recommend. Okay, guys, this next item I'm actually so annoyed about. I love the look of it. I've seen it in there every time that I've been in. Haven't picked it up. I thought this time I'll pick it up. I'll take the plunge. It's a little bit more of an expensive item of Primark. I mean, it was £23, right? But I really liked it. It's this gorgeous linen blazer. The only thing is, guys, it is so itchy on the skin. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Um, but it's such a shame. It looks really lovely. I did pick it up in a size 14, so it's nice and oversized. It's got shoulder pads, so I think it would be a really nice, like, boxy, masculine fit, which I love for a blazer. But I'm not loving the material that this is in. It is just quite itchy and irritating on the skin. I don't know if I've just got a dodgy one or what. If you guys have this blazer, please let me know if you find it itchy or not. If you guys could let me know down below if you know of any other places that sell a nice linen blazer like this, please let me know. Help a girl out, because I really want one. I just... I'm not sure if this one's it although it does look very cute and it would be really versatile to wear okay next up i picked up a real basic but honestly guys this little bodysuit is such good quality i'll just bring it closer so you guys can see the type of material it's a really thick like ribbed material it's a really really lovely bodysuit i don't think it's going to be see-through what happened there with the lighting and um, i don't think it's going to be see-through at all which is good because with bodysuits like this i don't tend to wear a bra so hopefully it's okay it is a pop a button bodysuit which is obviously more handy i did pick this up in a size small and this was six pounds i'm hoping that they have this in more colors although i didn't see it in more colors in my primark um, but I will be going back to have a little look because honestly, bodysuits just go with everything, don't they? I'm always short of them in my wardrobe as well. Hopefully they have this in more colours like a khaki or brown or something. I think that would be really cute. Talking of brown bodysuits, I picked up this one. Now I have already worn this, so I don't have the tag in it, but I'm pretty sure this one was around five to six pounds as well. I did also grab this one in a small. Um, again, it is a popper bodysuit. These are so, so comfy. If you see these in your Primark, you have to get them. Um, yeah, they're just like their normal cap sleeve tops, but slightly thicker, so they're not see-through. And I love that they're a bodysuit because normally I tuck these sort of things in anyway. I do actually have some shorts that I have in mind to pair this with, so I'll show you those next. I've seen this on everyone's Instagram and stuff at the minute, so you've probably already seen this, but... Yeah, just a really easy basic to have in your wardrobe. Okay, so I actually picked up two pairs of shorts that could go with that bodysuit. The first pair of shorts, now, I have actually already tried these on. I tried them on last night because I was going to wear them. We went to ZZ for dinner. Um, and it was actually really hot last night, which I wasn't expecting because the daytime was quite gloomy. But I thought I would pop these on. Guys, they just, they don't fit the bum. If you're curvy like me in Primark, I definitely would size up twice. They come up really small on the bum and the hip area. 
but I picked these up in a size 12. I might go back and see if they've got them in a size 14 because I just think they're such an easy basic short to wear. These were £15 but the quality feels really lovely so I don't mind the price of them. They just don't fit me great. I love that they're a paper bag waist as well. I think if these actually fit me properly then it would be really flattering on. And again just something really easy to chuck on in the summer when it's nice and hot. They look a bit smarter than denim shorts I would say though. So yeah, probably going to go back and size up in these, but still thought they were really cute. And then I also picked up these shorts. Now these are a lot more of a like floaty short. I'll just button them up so you guys can see them properly. Again, I got these in a size 12, but these ones actually fit. I don't understand Primark size and it's all over the show, but yeah, these fit really nicely. And these were only £8, which I actually thought was really good. They're not see-through. They're again, just a really easy short to chuck on. And I love this colour. It's a real like warm tan colour. Also, these were really flattering on the body. I think because the waistband on these is quite thick, they came up nice and high-waisted and really made your waist look slim. So yeah, really recommend these shorts if you are after some. I personally just wanted some more shorts that aren't denim in my wardrobe, just so they're a little bit more comfy if I go out for dinners and stuff. Um, or even walks. These are just easy to chuck on. Okay, next up I have got another little cord. This again was one of the things at the very front of Primark on the mannequin. So I'm guessing this is new in. They did have it in black as well, which was also really gorgeous. So I might go back and get that. Although I'm not sure I need any more clothes. So let me know what you guys think this looks like on. Um, I got both of these in a size 12. The bottoms were... 13 pounds and the top was eight pounds so these are the trousers they're just a really nice long wide leg trouser obviously you're going to see this a lot better on but i'm just obsessed with this color it's kind of like a darker sage green i would say these are really lovely really like relaxed and comfy to wear they do have an elasticated waist as well so they were just really comfy to wear on um a little bit short on me that's the only issue where i'm like five foot seven they're a tiny little bit too short but I might just try and get away with it because they do look really lovely. And then this is the little crop top. So it's just got the tie up detail at the front there. This bit is actually a part of the front. So it's not too cropped. Again, you're going to see it a lot better on. I really love these puff sleeves as well. Yeah, really love that one. Again, green at the minute is just my favourite. So I couldn't not pick that up. Okay, last couple of pieces. This is completely different to everything else that I've shown you. But I just thought it was a really cool casual piece. I would probably wear this with cycling shorts or maybe even like a bed shirt. It just looks really comfortable comfy and oversized so if you've been in there recently they have a new looney tunes collaboration obviously i think the new film's out or it's coming out and um, but they had like cords pajamas this t-shirt loads of different bits so head in there if you like that sort of thing but i picked this one up in a size medium it does look really big so this is a size 12 to 14 but it's just really long like i think it's even going to be past my knees so yeah i might keep this just to wear it as a little night shirt I got it in size medium like I said and it was £12. Not the cheapest but it does feel like a nice quality t-shirt so I don't think that's too bad. So I just thought this was quite a cool little graphic t-shirt. If it is too long then I might even cut it and I could um, tighten a knot or something so it's a nice like crop t-shirt but I'll see what it's like when it's on. Okay so the last two pieces I have to show you guys are two summer dresses. The first one that I picked up is just a really plain and simple knitted midi dress, but I live in things like this in the summer. I just find them so easy to chuck on and really comfortable. This one's a really lovely, like, soft knit material as well. So really recommend if you can find this in your Primark. They did have it in a khaki as well. They didn't have it in my size. I was so annoyed. I really wanted it. It's a really lovely length. Obviously, again, it's going to be an item you're going to see it a lot better on. I did have to pick this one up in a size medium because they were out of smalls. But it actually fits completely fine. So if they don't have your size in stock, then size up or size down, I feel like, would be fine. Because it's a really, like, stretchy, given material. So this one was £13, which I actually do think is really good for the quality of this. Like, this could be a misguided dress or something. The quality is really, really great. So really recommend if you see this one in there. And then last but not least, this one's a little bit different. This one's a real, like, girly, floaty midi dress. I think it's a midi. It might be a mid axi but I just fell in love with this one when I saw it. It was a little bit more expensive, but it does have a lot of detailing on the dress. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got a broader and glaze pattern the whole way down. And I love the colour of this. A really nice like powder blue. So this one was £18, which is a little bit more expensive than your typical Primark prices. But the quality is definitely there. I think it's double lined as well. Yeah, it's double lined. So it's not going to be see-through. I picked it up in a size 12. 
I just love this. It's so feminine um, with some like chunky sandals or something. I think this would look really great. I love these puff sleeves. Yeah, I just thought this was really cute. Again, it's something that's going to be really easy to style up if you're in a hurry and you just want like a quick summer outfit. I hope we're going to have another heat wave. I heard that we're meant to have a heat wave in August. So fingers crossed. This would come in handy because it's a really nice like light cotton material. Okay guys, that is everything that I had to show you from Primark. I really hope that you did enjoy this video. Please let me know down below your favourite items. I don't want to keep everything. I want to send some stuff back because I just don't need any more clothes. I'm trying to pack up. So me buying more clothes just really isn't helping the situation. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it so much if you'd subscribe and stick around. I think that is everything. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.